NATO's Crisis Response, Managing Conflicts with Russia The North Atlantic Treaty Organization, or NATO for short, is an intergovernmental military alliance comprising of 30 North American and European nations. It was established in 1949 after World War II, and its primary objective was to provide collective defense against external threats to the member nations. Over the years, NATO has evolved to reflect the changing landscape of global politics, but its core purpose remains the same, to ensure the security of its members. In recent years, NATO has faced significant challenges, particularly in its relationship with Russia. The annexation of Crimea in 2014, the involvement of Russian forces in the Syrian conflict, and alleged interference in the US presidential election have all strained the relationship between NATO and Russia. Russia. As a result, NATO has had to develop crisis response strategies to manage conflicts with Russia effectively. One of the key approaches NATO has taken to manage conflicts with Russia is through enhanced military cooperation with member nations. In 2016, NATO deployed four battle groups to Poland and the three Baltic states in a bid to reinforce its eastern flank. This was in response to Russia's military buildup in the region and concerns that it could pose a threat to the security of NATO's easternmost allies. The deployment of troops was an important step towards deterring Russia and demonstrated NATO's commitment to the collective defense of its members. Another approach that NATO has taken to manage conflicts with Russia is through political engagement. NATO has sought to maintain an open dialogue with Russia, despite the tensions between the two sides. NATO officials have met with their Russian counterparts at various forums, including the NATO-Russia Council. These meetings have provided an opportunity for both sides to discuss issues of mutual concern, such as the conflict in Syria, and to try and find areas of common ground. One of the most significant threats that NATO faces in its relationship with Russia is the risk of cyber attacks. Cyber attacks can have far-reaching consequences and can potentially disrupt vital infrastructure, such as energy and financial networks. NATO has recognized the importance of countering this threat and has taken steps to enhance its cyber defense capabilities. In 2016, NATO established a new cyber operations center to improve its ability to detect and respond to cyber threats. Furthermore, NATO has increased cooperation with member nations to ensure they have adequate protection against cyber attacks. Despite the challenges it faces, NATO remains committed to its mission of ensuring the security of its member nations. The alliance recognizes that the best way to manage conflicts with Russia is through political engagement and military deterrence. NATO has taken steps towards both objectives, with the deployment of troops and the establishment of a cyber operations center. These measures demonstrate NATO's readiness to respond to any threats posed by Russia and underline the alliance's commitment to collective defense. In conclusion, NATO's relationship with Russia is undoubtedly complex and challenging. However, the alliance has shown its ability to respond to the changing political landscape and to adapt to new threats. NATO's crisis response strategies, such as enhanced military cooperation, political engagement, and cyber defense, are all important steps towards managing conflicts with Russia effectively. The Alliance's actions demonstrate the importance of collective defense and cooperation in ensuring the security of its member nations.